Your spouse is a beer-spilling, crumb-dropping brute. Your kids are a couple of violent psychopaths, and your poor sofa is the scene of the crime. But while most desperate homemakers try in vain to change their loved ones, one plucky mom decided to change the furniture instead and found a whole lot of change under the cushions. Meet Debbie Weiner. Don't stress the mess. doing is the cold field house chair. My name is Debbie Weiner and I'm the president and CEO of Slob Proof Seating. Great, this is beautifully tailored. Slob Proof Furniture is stylish, kid-friendly furniture that will stay clean without a whole lot of effort. Ah! <laughs> if you're a busy working parent, if you're a pet lover, if you have kids, I promise you I thought of it all and I put it in my sofa. Solid hardwood frames, stain-proof fabric, upgraded cushions and materials throughout. Even the finishes on my legs match up to magic markers you probably have in your house. I thought of everything that could happen in a real-life home, and I factored that into the design. It's baseball season, and at my house, that means mustard all over my sofa. But this is slob proof, baby. There's not any other seating line out there that is as durable as slob proof furniture. And those good looking couches have Debbie sitting pretty. Her slob proof empire has personally netted her over three and a half million bucks. A tidy sum for a mom who fell into the furniture business by accident. I've not always been an entrepreneur. I uh, didn't start until I had my charge card declined at a big department store with my kids in tow. And that was my Scarlett O'Hara moment. I got in the car, and as I turned on the ignition, I said to myself, as God is my witness, I will never have my charge card declined again. It was really hard to find anyone who would hire a working mom who wanted to work around her kids' activities. So quickly I realized I'd have to be my own boss and started an interior design business out of my basement. We absolutely have to get you a new runner. This is not working in here. For one thing, it's too small. I had to see a lot of people in the evenings and weekends when my husband could be home. And I would dread coming home because my husband and kids were slobs. I thought to myself, if I could just come up with some furniture, that they can eat on, they can sit on, and it kind of takes care of itself. That would mean no divorce, no drugs. I started by using my own home as a laboratory. The only furniture out there that would hold up to my family is hospital furniture. But putting hospital furniture in my home was not an option. So I started by figuring out who supplies fabric for hospital furniture and said, I want to use your product, but it's got to be soft. Moisture proof, odor proof, antimicrobial, totally slob proof. So I quickly put together a website and sure enough, the money started coming in. We're going to need patterns here. But while Debbie was cleaning up in more ways than one, she wasn't done dreaming of a slob-proof world. One of my biggest problems in my own home was that there was always a mark on my wall. So I made the slob-proof touch-up paint pen. Five years ago, I painted these walls. And the day I got the paint, I filled my paint pen. Any mark on your walls, just touch it up in a snap. It's kind of like makeup for your walls. I think it's the most brilliant idea since the invention of the paintbrush. That may be a bit of an exaggeration, but it was cool enough that even the New York Times took notice and gave the Slob Proof brand some pretty nice ink. The very next morning, I had 10,000 plus sales for the Slob Proof paint pen. We won an award for being a top seller on Amazon. Top seller indeed. Slob Proof pens and furniture had generated five million in revenue over the past five years with an average gross margin of 50%. And all that cash means some serious financial cushion. I got a house in the country that I can go and just unwind in. 
I got a ton of designer handbags because no matter how fat or thin I get, they always fit. And most importantly, I've used my money on my family. My husband had cancer. My youngest son was sick for years, required lots of hospitalizations and surgeries. And it's the money I've made from Slob Proof that has allowed me to really take care of my family. The worst is finally over. My husband has been cancer free for almost five years. My youngest is in college and he's had a date. And I think finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief and start the good life. Protecting mom from slobs has led Debbie to a very good life indeed. So Sam, trace out the patterns so that we can get it to the cutting table. All right. The fact that I've got what I've got every day, I know I'm making a positive impact on my family. I can't believe that I do it. I still can't believe that this is what I do for work. All right, guys, clean up time. When it comes to furniture, take it from a mother with her own family of slobs. Don't stress the mess. Life's too short. Yay, couch is back to normal. Not long. <laughs>